Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching. I pray for you every single day. I thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I ask you to uh, pray to for me and my family to the Lord our God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So I just want to start today with uh, Psalm 18, verse 28. For you will light my lamp, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. And this is David um, speaking. He cries out to God, um, and God hears his prayer. Um, I want to jump over here to verse uh, 46 through 50. The Lord lives, blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God who avenges me and subdues the people under me. He delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing praises to your holy name. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to add holy name, but he is holy. Great deliverance he gives to his king and shows mercy to his anointed, to David and his descendants forevermore. And I just wanted to share that with you because um, <clears throat> I know I, that the attacks from the enemy, in my opinion, have increased. The evil in the world has increased, and I just feel um, that... I was telling this to the Lord out loud this morning, um, praying that no matter how I feel, because a lot of times it's about my feelings, um, and it shouldn't be, it should be about him and his power and authority because the, the word of God says that God will send out a word and it will not come back void. So we must stand firm on the word of God, no matter how we're feeling, if you're feeling defeated you know, yesterday was a pretty rough day for me, and I was feeling, you know, downtrodden and defeated. When I told the Lord this morning, it's not about my feelings. It's about Him and His promises and His power and authority. So no matter how we're feeling, we must give Him the glory. And you know what? I know that nothing is impossible to God, that once I start praising Him and worshiping Him and reading His Word, that God can turn things around, and He can do the same for you too. And I know, brothers and sisters, that we're going through a lot. I know for years that, you know, I have been stripped, and I still make mistakes every single day. I still fall short of the glory of God every single day, and I still come to Him humbly, asking for forgiveness and repenting of my sins. I love the Lord with all my heart. And I want to be the encouragement that you all need. And if you felt like this, like the place that I was at, even this morning, um, just kind of down and defeated, that we can lean on him. We can call out his name just like David did, and he will be there. God will never leave nor forsake us. And I just want to say that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Isaiah fifty four seventeen. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the whole world. First John 4, 4. And God loves you. And, and he sent his only son to die for you. John three sixteen. So I wanted to encourage you this morning as well as, as encourage myself, honestly. So God bless you today and every day. I hope this lifts you up. And um, just cry out to him no matter what you're going through. Um, he will hear your prayers. God bless you. Amen.